everybody. We are in Boone County, Missouri. Missouri. We are going past Columbia, Missouri. Columbia, South Carolina. No, we're in Missouri. Columbia. No, we're in Missouri. Local time. All right, so Columbia is a big city. We're just gonna ride right through it. Now it's a big city, which we could have done a big, a nice drive around video of the city. I'm letting you know we're just going past it on the highway because we're going to Kansas City. We got a lot of ground to cover on this trip, and normally we slow it down in smaller towns like this. Can't do that when you're going across the country. Yeah, when you got we got a lot of ground to cover across the country. So if we're gonna make it out west, we got to stop being around the bush and just hit the highway. So. This video is just to give you guys a feel for the area of what it's like to be in central Missouri. The Missouri River comes through here. Jefferson City is just south of us. And let's just see what it looks like. It's not quite the plains yet. You're still kind of... still got some vegetation. It's just beautiful. The purple flowers everywhere. I've never been this far to the west this far north. I've been further west than Texas, but not this far up north, so this is all new ground for us. Just to give you an idea, we're between, uh, halfway between St. Louis and Kansas City. To the north of us is Iowa, and to the south of us is Arkansas. Exactly north of Little Rock and south of Minneapolis, almost in the middle. Between Nebraska and Kentucky, right in the heart of Missouri, heading towards Kansas City. Nebraska and Kentucky? Yeah, we're between Nebraska and Kentucky. We're right in the middle of Nebraska and Kentucky. We draw a line between Kentucky and Nebraska, we're right in the middle of that. Or we're right in the middle of Chicago and Oklahoma City. Mm -hmm. We're going to draw a line between Nebraska. Between Chicago and Oklahoma City, we would be right in the middle. We're in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. We are in the middle of nowhere. Country roads, take me home. A lot of traffic for a Sunday. Right, it is a Sunday. Mm -hmm. For the first time on this trip, we've hit a spot of really crappy phone signal. We've had pretty good phone signal all the way through, but right now, it's no good. It's been pretty crappy in Missouri. Phone signals are pretty crappy. Yeah. Good enough to watch a YouTube video, but I'm, I mean, I say phone signal. I'm referring to uploads. Too weak to upload. It's, it's, it's actually 5G. It's, it's good for phone calls. It's good for watching. Very good for watching videos. But for uploading videos, it's been kind of slow. We're trying to upload a one hour long drive through St. Louis and it's just... There's those purple flowers I was telling I like you guys them. about. They're everywhere. I like it. Purple flower trees. I like them. Didn't we have them in Alabama? Hmm? Didn't we have them in Alabama? Not as many as up here. Yeah. It's like a suburban little area there on the side of the highway. Kind of, uh, kind of hood looking. How many cars are in those houses? Dang, it looks kind of hood. I'm not going to say it don't because it do. It looks kind of hood. Hood, dog. City limits of Columbia right there. It's kind of hood in there. Kind of hilly terrain. I kind of like it. It's alright. You know how cold it gets out here? In the, the, lots of ATVs and cars. Do you think I care about cold? Yuck too, yuck too. No, I don't. That's I like cold better than I like heat. At least at Bro, this point. Bro, you say that. Remember we went to Michigan and I went for a walk here again? Explain to me if you like cold, why when I went to Michigan. Because I had just taken a shower. Blah, and blah, blah, dog. blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. I was out there in 18 degree weather till my lungs started bleeding. Now, cue him, man. I ain't scared of no cold weather. I ain't scared of none. His apartments look a little bit nicer than the other ones. Free golf? Really? Okay. If you live 
give it, you can have for a dollar. These apartments don't look too bad. Yeah. They look very nice. They look nice. Get off and see the city. You can just see it all from the highway. I know. Right? Yeah. Why would you even waste your time going into the city? Yeah. Yep. Not even worth literally it. Literally everything is by the highway. Yeah. Oh you yeah. Can no literally doubt. see it yep. off the highway. Yep. There's lots like, of hotels. Lots yeah. Of it seems like they've built a lot here recently. Yeah. It looks brand new. Lots of hotels. Cracker Barrel. Mm-hmm. I like Cracker Barrel. Can you imagine how cool this place gets in the water. Oh, I can't wait. Crap is wrong with you. Look, you're full of crap. When we were in Michigan, I went for a walk outside. You're going to hold this over me for the rest of my life. Yes, because you had your, you had an opportunity to prove to me you were ready for cold weather. All you proved to me is that you were full of crap. How did a deer end up in the middle of the city on the highway? Dude, I was relaxing, taking a bath. Shut your mouth. You lied. You, you lied. You lied to me. You said you're from Michigan. You weren't scared of the cold weather, and a little cold weather ain't never did you no harm. I and did. then we went to see the cold weather, and you were afraid to go outside. I wasn't afraid to go outside. You didn't go outside, I'll tell you that much. I did. I went for a walk with you. You remember that? No, I don't know that. We took a walk before dinner. The University of Missouri is here. Mm-hmm. So. It's a shame we can't get out. We really got a lot of ground to cover, guys. You lied to me. You, we also you, went out for a night drive. No, okay, I got it. You acted like you were ready to live in the snow. Wow, that house is dirty. They got some hoods looking. They were hoods up in here, bro. Yeah. They got some hoods we're up We're going to come back to the city. We're going to have a point on the map saying we want to come to Columbia. Columbia, Missouri. What kind of hood? And I'm gonna, we'll go to Jefferson City and we'll just like put plans out. Mm-hmm. If the video gets over 20,000 views, we'll come back. Yeah. How's that? There's one, there'll be one guy in the city that just keeps refreshing the page so it goes up for That's like right. five days. Toyota's now renting their new car. Oh, they're putting it in a brand new Starbucks. Oh, snap. They got a Starbucks next to a Waffle House. I'm so hungry. I can't wait to get to Kansas City. You're hungry again? Yeah, I don't know why I'm hungry. When it gets cold are you get hungry. Yeah, I don't know. Why. 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 I It's not just St. Louis, it's like all over the North. Right? Yeah. I'm not yelling at her, I'm yelling at you. Yeah. Dude, these neighborhoods look good, bro. That one looks alright. Yeah. I don't understand why up here not everybody doesn't have like a Jeep or a jacked up truck. Wouldn't that make sense with the snow? It would. It would make sense that everybody up here would have like either a Jeep or a Jaguar. But you remember when we went to Michigan, there were so many like regular cars. I didn't get that far. I don't know. Hey there, little island. What's it like in Hialeah? So there's a lot of apartments here. It's kind of like it doesn't look all that. It looks kind of. Like a Tallahassee of the north. Yeah. Shutters. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Can you imagine being here when it's like three degrees and it's like 40 mile per hour winds? Nice. Stop being stupid. <laughs> Bro, it is aggravating to sit here and watch you say that. When I know when we went to Michigan, it was only 18 degrees and you weren't, you weren't outside. I, I walked through outside. Grand Rapids, Michigan in 18 degree weather to prove to you that I was going to get pneumonia. <laughs> and, and I almost did. I tried. It was I got pretty close. Okay. Now you. I love how you'll throw crap. things over my head. No, you're full of crap. That happened ten years ago. That didn't happen ten years ago. That was like that was like this winter. Yes, I know. That wasn't ten years ago. And you also, you'll hold this over my head for the rest of our marriage. Every no, you're the one who's being belligerent, acting like you're good with cold weather when you know you're not. Just wait till we go next year. No. You are full of crap. I saw how you behaved when we went to Michigan. You acted worse than me, and I'm Cuban. Like, there's no way. You, all oh, our marriage, you love like, I'm from Michigan. I get where cold weather ain't nothing to me. And then now we actually go to these places where it's in the winter, and you're like acting like, like you like. You, uh, I'm not gonna. Oh, you don't lie to me. Why do you want to portray that you're good with cold weather? I am good with it. That's like something like that stubborn people do. Like pretend they're good. But I am good with You're them. not, bro. You're not. If you were. What do I have to do? Make an igloo and then sit in it for like three weeks? No. You had your opportunity when we went to Michigan. We went to Michigan and you had an opportunity to show me that you bought that life. You ended up snitching. Sorry, I'm not. Oh, you're not a game member. No, uh. <laughs> I don't know what you think I am about, but I'm definitely not about that. Okay, so you had an opportunity when we went to Michigan to prove to me that you were cold weather ready. Didn't I sit in a snowbank for like half an hour? No, you didn't, bro. Like, you barely. First of all, you slipped, you slipped around like when you did get out in Chicago, you got out. Remember when you got out in Chicago and it was like 14 degrees and you got out? Mm -hmm. And then we found out that you're more really obese and it was icy. And you just slipped around a parking lot for half an hour trying to get back in the car. Yeah. While me and the other guy that just sit there and watch you like, wow, this is embarrassing. Yeah, I've like, gained a few pounds since I left, left Michigan. I wouldn't call it a few, I'd... Okay, a few hundred, okay? Happy yeah. now. Happy now, jerk. Oh, no, baby, I'm not a jerk. You think I'm a jerk? Oh, baby. I'm about to buy some barbecue in my cup for her. Some barbecue? I'm buy some ice cream. I'll get ice cream for it. Shopping expedition? What? Ah, there we go. I'm not a jerk. You're the one that mentioned it, not me. How am I a jerk? It's kind of like if I mentioned, like... We were talking about... We found out I was morbidly obese in Chicago. Yeah. The only time you even tried getting out was in Chicago. And then you slipped around for half an hour on ice. And I was like, okay. There's absolutely nothing I can do to help you at this point. I know I can't pick you up. Okay, so why do you want to prove to me that you're cold hearted when I've already seen you in the cold weather? I can't be losing my Michigander status. Bro, you've lost that a long time ago. I did move to Alabama. I mean, I'm still going to call you a New York Yankees fan, but I'm not going to like... You're just not cold hearted. I drink. I am cold hearty. You're not. I'm not heat hearty. Okay. I am not I am not heat hardy, at least admit that. Okay, so let's just be real. You're not good at the cold and you're not good at the weather. At the warm. You're just I'd be better off in Alaska. Okay. In the summer. In the summer. Yeah, yeah. What? I am cold hardy. You're not cold hardy, bro. Uh, <laughs> you're not cold hardy. Don't try to portray you are. 
I'm gonna rent a five hundred dollar a month apartment for three months in Michigan and just live there. I thought you were afraid of rats. Six hundred. <laughs> Mice. <laughs> Dude, they, it exists. You are aggravating. You know, whatever it is that's aggravating you, you just need to toss it out of your life. I think the left tire on the passenger side is out again. Hey, you think GM would figure out how to make a tire? I don't know. Not sure what you're doing, but it's terrifying. I know. <laughs> What's it like in Missouri? I love all these puff flowers. Mm -hmm. I think there's butterflies. I like butterflies. I killed one recently. Oh, no, baby. It still breaks me up inside. Oh, baby. You know, the life spends like three months anyways. No. Oh. You should have known not to go on the road. It was a butterfly. It was just flying past. Oh, baby. And I ended its life and then its guts were on my way. Oh, no, baby, that it was a moth. And then I had to see it for two hundred <laughs> miles. Two hundred miles, because you were not Oh, no, so baby, it was a moth. It was a moth. It was a moth. It wasn't even a butterfly. It was a butterfly. It was a butterfly. It was a yellow. It must be from St. Louis. Look at that. Glass of Komasura. It was a yellow monarch. Oh, baby, it was a, it was a, it was a moth. Baby, they don't, they're not even around this time of year. Oh, yes, I'm here. We were in South Carolina. No, we were in Georgia. You don't remember where you were. It's beautiful. And I killed it on our last big trip. No, oh, baby, it was a moth. I saw it. It was a moth. I can't know it was beautiful. It was a moth. It was not a moth, it was a beautiful butterfly. And I killed it. Get like that over a butterfly. What happens if you hit a deer? I'll cry for six months. You know, you don't seem to cry after beating me up every once in a while. Well, that's wrong. Why are you more sentimental about a moth than you are about me? Well, I've never. By the way, very prejudiced and discriminatory on your part. That if it was a moth, you wouldn't have as much feeling for it. I would, even if it was a moth. It was beautiful. Sure. They are beautiful sure, moths. Sure, Katie. We're going to treat butterflies better than moths now. Okay. If it was a moth, you wouldn't even care. It would. What makes a butterfly better than a moth other than your prejudice? It had beautiful wings. So the moth ain't as good as a butterfly now? The because moths are as good as butterflies. But the most beautiful butterflies are moths. There's so why would you lament the loss of a butterfly but not a moth? What's the difference? I would lament the loss of a moth. No, you when you were hitting moths all the time, you never even cried about it. You asked me to kill one a few days ago in the house. That wasn't a moth. Whatever, it looked like a moth to me. It was a cricket and it was bothering me. <laughs> so now crickets aren't as good as butterflies either? Not when it Does keeps it me up for five days and then I can't sleep. It kept me up for five single days. And it wouldn't fun. shut up, even during the daytime. Mm-hmm. It's kind of neat. A lot of rock here. Yeah. I'm crossing another river. Yeah. Yeah. What river are we crossing, Jose? The river! It's beautiful. Hey, hey Missouri River. Mm, it's nice. Are they drilling well? No, they're making a better bridge. Oh, okay. That's good. There should be a better bridge than this. <laughs> yeah, they're making a better bridge. Yeah, there should be a better bridge than this. What's that tire? I don't know. I got you. I got you. Is there more rivers? I think that's it for now. Yeah. That's nice. That's the Missouri. Yeah, it's the Missouri River. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. Can you swim in the Missouri River? Yeah, it looks like there's a lot of tires and farming chemicals. I would try to. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. Is this Plains? Uh, it's gonna open up a little bit up ahead. Okay. Um, can 
see them. It'll, it'll open up a little bit up ahead. Excuse that me. That is disturbing. Okay, my videos are world renowned. I can't have you burping and farting on my videos. These are world renowned travel videos. Look at all the edit work that went into this.
I want to make some apple pie. Mm -hmm. Actually, when we were in Texas, we were right on the edge of the plains. That's what it's like to drive through Missouri. It's kind of 